Hi Abhishek. Good evening. Hi sir. Good afternoon. Good evening, sir. How are you, Abhishek? I'm good, sir. How are you doing, sir? I'm good. Thank you for asking, Abhishek. Abhishek, you are which part of India? I am currently residing in Bangalore, but my hometown is Kolkata. Why Kolkata is famous? Sir, Kolkata is basically the cultural capital of India. So, and also Kolkata is famous for its uh, like magnanimous structures like Howrah Bridge and Victoria Memorial, its food, its language. Bengali is one of the sweetest language. Okay. Also Bengali people, also sweetest people. Maybe. Sorry. Yeah. Thank you. So Abhishek, uh, as you know, you already, uh, did you receive the JD from our recruiter? Yes, sir. Yeah. You hope you uh, uh, go through the details of, about the role and responsibility. Yes, sir. Why you are interested after seeing the JD? Can you tell me the few point you would like to, you know, join or you are interested to uh, uh, join the company? Thank you, sir, for giving me this opportunity. As in the JD, it is stated uh, the job role of data analysis. In my previous company, I also did work with data. I managed data, I extracted data, and uh, I visualized the data and showed it to my clients. So for that reason, I am applying for this company. Okay, but uh, you are uh, using previously data analysis here also. Why, why, why are you leaving your current or last organization and why you want to join? Because if your job is both are same, generally we feel bored. What interesting you found in the JD? That mean I mean that question. Uh, basically, the job role or the job description here you have given is um, it is more into data analysis. Whereas in my previous company, the data analytics and data analytics was a part of my job, not my all, not my full job actually, sir. Okay, and also. Job. What other things you are interested? The domain, previously work, you you are in any anything you want to input here regarding domain. Regarding the, this my uh, this domain like uh, domain in the job description or my previous. Yeah, yeah. yeah, job description. Yes, sir. The domain in the job description that is the data analytics. I, I as I have stated earlier that I have worked in my previous company with data, so. Uh, as per the JD, uh, what I have understood that uh, the data, like the part dealing, we are, I'm sorry, uh, like we are dealing with data analytics here more, and we are actually extracting, manipulating. So the job role which I used to do in my previous company is uh, like magnified here in several times. Okay. So in 2024, there's general election going to hell, correct? Yes, sir. So just an example, mm. your, uh, who is your uh, CM in your state? It's uh, Mamta Banerjee. Mamta Banerjee. If they will invite Mr. Abhishek, as you are a data analyst, mm. using your analysis, using the state data, okay? Okay. What insight you will provide, what input will provide our party or using the you know uh, election data, how we can grow? What are what are the steps you are going to take initiative as your data analysis for election data? So, particularly in this data analytics portion, here yeah, it is the political data we are dealing with. So, I'm going to like uh, collect the data from different zones and different religion. I mean, different regions and districts. And uh, I would like the. I mean, sorry, I'm. I would like to collect all the data from different like the sub subdivisions of the parties and also I would like to take the hearings from the common people and uh, I will extract this data and I will provide the uh, the ruling party with how they can improve their like final I mean their if they want to like stay in power for a longer time how they can improve their works how they can actually develop certain areas which are still undeveloped and also like um, how they can uh, like appease the people because the appeasement of people is the main thing. Yeah, so uh, 
what what is the source here generally you mentioned already mentioned few sources of election data where mm. what is the primary source of election data in your state where you will collect i'm sorry sir i didn't get the, the question primary Please. source of election data mm. where you will collect so the primary source of election data would be basically the um First, I will start with my city, my like the capital of West Bengal, Kolkata. I will collect the data sources from different party offices and uh, and also like uh, different districts and also the peoples and also the councillors. I will collect the data from there. And I will also collect the data of the development there, which have taken place. What about and social also, media data? Yes, social media data, because social media is a very much like is... Um, it is an emerging, not emerging actually. It is a like very trending. So I will also collect the social media data too. So when we are collecting data, there is a lot of challenge will be there. The gender is there. The different region people will be there. Different people will be there. What are the action item as you are a data person? What are the action you are going to follow? Data privacy, data, you are talking about data concern, data quality. Any issue should not be happen. Anybody should not be complain about your data. What are the action you are going to take as the election data you are managing? So while uh, while managing the elec elec election data, I would like to have some data privacy because um, the election data is a very confidential data and can also cause, uh, if, if leaked or if uh, like released and or it got in the wrong hands can also create havoc. So I would like to implement data security there and data yeah. privacy there. Very nice. And also the flow of data, the mm -hmm. flow of data, that there should be no blockages, no obstructions in the flow of data. So the whole thing, you are telling data security, data quality, data privacy, is comes under? Um, it comes under data governance. Exactly, data governance, very good. So in this data governance, what are the rules we generally follow? If you see that if you, Europe country, USA in recently India, which data rules came? Can I give you examples? I'm sorry, sir, I'm not aware of that. Like I'm giving one more example, like GDPR, the Europe country. Similarly, in India, which rules came recently, I mean 2023, for the data privacy point of view? I'm sorry, sir, I'm not aware. Okay, no issue. Take another scenario. Uh, you are going for Tata Motors, okay? As you know, Tata is the most popular uh, in, in car manufacturing industries now. So yes. imagine uh, the maybe Ratan Tata, Mr. Ratan Tata, or maybe CEO, they are telling Mr. Uh, Abhishek, we are going to build data culture. The earlier never ever used data. Maybe they're using data, but they're not a process flow or any any uh, uh, data architect or any, any data pipeline is they're not there. So as you're the first person, what are the initiative you are going to take for automobile or industries or the first company? What is your initiative? What are the action item you are going to take? So first of all, where I mean, the place or the domain they are working, if they have no knowledge, like no advanced knowledge about data, I would like to gather a team of data, like uh, there's a term in data governance, data shepherds. I would like to collect data shepherds and I would like to educate them about the data first. And then I would like to uh, build a team and like uh, would, uh, 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 like uh, control the flow of data and also to make the data available to the uh, like respective people, to the stakeholders. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you also... mean initially you need to talk a lot of stakeholder, business leader, understanding the requirement. Okay, based on the requirement, you need to check the people technology process. You need to check what are the technology they are already using. What are the, you know, uh, business uh, they are doing and who they are consuming the data. Where is the data is coming? where is data is moving how to track the data okay so okay. these are the steps we are going to so uh, coming to one question when data is you told monitoring the data how you monitor the data and which process we call 
I know the process, what technique, method you are following, tracking the data. So, uh, like, um, I would like to, um, sorry, can you repeat the question, sir, please? How to track data from one source to another source? What technology method you are using? So to, uh, to track the data from one source to another, uh, I would use uh, like the uh, SQL database to track the data. No, it's not database. I hope you rem remember. Uh, uh, it's not uh, remembering. It's about like, I hope you have an idea about uh, data lineage. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, you check after this meeting, you can check. Excellent. Yes. So, uh, excellent, Abhishek. Uh, you have a strong knowledge on SQL Server database, correct? Yes, sir. Yeah. What is the difference between where clause and the having clause? So, the where clause is used to um, uh, like uh, extract the data, extract data from a data set within the specified conditions. Where, you, where we use the where clause. And uh, having is uh, um, I'm sorry, sir. Okay, no problem. No issue. In uh, SQL, if you tell like a difference between delete, drop, truncate, how will differentiate? So basically, delete, drop, truncate. In delete, we delete data from a data uh, from a table. In drop, we uh, um, sorry. In truncate, we are deleting the data, but the data but the table structure remains intact. Whereas in drop, we are deleting the whole table, or even in case a whole database. Okay, nice. What is SQL? Group by. So SQL group by is used, uh, or the group by function is used to filter data uh, for, uh, based on a specific column. Okay. Okay. So grouping the data based on? Based on a specific column. Like for example, we have like a sales database and we have cities and sales. So we can group by the data with, by, so we can group by the uh, data by using group by uh, city. Okay. So we get the uh, like city, uh, city wise data. Okay. So coming to, moving to next uh, topic, data visualization tableau, what is the difference between Dimension and measure. In so, dim so dimensions in Tableau are basically uh, the data which contains x and strings, and uh, it is uh, an independent variable. Uh, whereas the measures are dependent on these uh, dimensions, and the measures mainly contains the, all the numeric values. By default, uh, in Tableau, if we have string data in one say, in one column. And uh, like numeric data in another column, uh, the numeric data by default tableau takes it or recognizes it and measure, and the string data and the string uh, and the string or a text data is recognized as dimensions. Okay, nice. Okay, Abhishek uh, looks like he, you know I'm okay with your profile. Do you have any question for me? um sir when can i join yeah so i think uh, you know there's a, one more round for client facing round uh, sir, okay. uh, you know do you have any client facing role and you're dealing any reporting handling team experience yes i used to like uh, in my previous company i used to uh, show that documents and the reports to the clients after i like extracted the data and visualized the data and to for to the stakeholders and clients to see to, I mean, to explain them where the project is at, which stage right now, and where it will go in the next in the next few months. Will it be completed, or will will there be any de delays? Uh, thanks, Abhishek. Thanks for joining. And uh, thank you, sir. Good day. Yeah. Thank you, sir.